Hi everyone and welcome to Flix Talk. I'm Nia. Born Norma Jean Mortensen. Who am I talking about? Marilyn Monroe! She's famous for playing dumb blonde characters, but I tell you what, she was uh she was no dumb blonde. Um I stereotyped her as being a dumb blonde, but after doing a little reading up on her years ago, uh she she's not I didn't think she was dumb after that little reading. <laughs> um she would be on the set of movies reading, you know, books, especially one on, you know, Abraham Lincoln. So that's kind of cool. I don't think any average dumb blonde would be reading a book about Abe Lincoln. So <clears throat> anyway, she she was smarter than she was smarter than most people would give her credit for. So. Anyway, she was married three times in her lifetime. First one was to James Doherty from 1942 to 1946, and from 1955 to 1950, 1954 to 1955, a nine-month marriage to Joe DiMaggio. I've been by their house when you know uh, took a tour in, in Hollywood, drove by you know, their nine-month, you know, marriage house. So, that was kind of neat. And then from 1956 to 1961, she was married to Arthur Miller. Ta-da! Three marriages. 1962, on May 19th, she's saying happy birthday to President Kennedy. Very breathy happy birthday, and of course that dress that she wore which I believe sold at Christie's for a large amount of money several years ago. So, um, yeah. In 1953, she was in three movies. And that, my dear, with those three movies, she became a sex symbol. Mainly from one movie. Started it off, and that was Niagara. Never saw it. I've only seen just a few movies of hers. You know, uh... Mm -hmm. Well, something like a hat. <laughs> I know for sure I've seen that one. Uh, uh, there's some other one. Another one. I don't know. Um, I have to, I don't really recall what the other ones were. Just a few, though. I, I think I can count on one hand how many movies of Maryland's I've seen. But anyway. <laughs> um, yesterday was August 5th which marked the 55th anniversary of her death. So, this is what happened. On August 5th, or August 6th, I don't really, I guess August 5th, anyway. <clears throat> uh, early morning hours, her housekeeper woke up around 3 a.m. Just didn't, she didn't seem like something was right. So she went to Marilyn's bedroom door I guess she knocked on the door, tried the knob, it was locked, she couldn't get in, so she called, what well, housekeeper's name, by the way, was Eunice Murray. And so, since she couldn't get into the bedroom, she called Marilyn's psychiatrist, Dr. Ralph Greenson, who then came to the house. He broke into the bedroom door, or into the bedroom, and found Marilyn dead on the bed. Now, the cause of death was acute barbiturate poisoning. The coroner classified the death as probable suicide. Probable. <laughs> the last person to see, as I have heard and read, the last person to see Marilyn alive besides her housekeeper was a member of the Kennedy family, Robert. I, uh, <laughs> there are some people out there who think she was murdered. I'm one of them. Um, 
by the Kennedys. Probably because, you know, she had a thing going on with JFK. And, of course, you know, if you're going to hang out with the president, you're going to have a file. The F she has it had an FBI file. And you can actually buy some pages on eBay of that file. Um, and I think they were worried, the FBI was worried about her political views. Maybe they didn't match JFK's. I don't know. Didn't, I didn't get into that. But uh, I just know she had a file, and she was just kind of closely monitored by the by the government. So, um, and then you know, I guess the Kennedys didn't want her, her around John. You know, he's the president, and la la la. Plus, you know, I think she may maybe have been involved with Robert too, but. Yet he was the last person to see her, was with her, besides the housekeeper. So, I don't know. You know, it could have been, a, you know, an accidental suicide. But it was maybe kind of pushed on her where it was kind of murder, but not really. So, you know, Kennedys get a, a lot of that instead of more severe punishments. If you're in the family. So, you know, <laughs> a little slap on the wrist and go on your way. Uh, but anyway, that's that's Marilyn. She, uh, <clears throat> she, uh, was in a, a lot of movies. Um,. Of course, through, towards the end of her career, she kept be either calling out or like not showing up or being late to the set. So the last movie she actually finished was The Misfits with Clark Gable. Um, but the 50s were her years. You know, that was her decade. That's where she became what she became. And just like uh, James Dean, you go to touristy areas, whether it be California, Florida, New York, or wherever. You're going to see her image everywhere on anything, you know, shirts, calendars, posters, mugs, cups, any merchandise, you name it, she's on it, even standees. Uh, so, <laughs> she's, she's one of those uh, celebrities that probably made more money after death than she did while she was living. So, yeah. Um... <clears throat> But, you know, uh, since Hugh Hefner bought a crypt right next to her at um, Westwood Village Memorial Park Cemetery in Hollywood, or actually in Cap L.A., <clears throat> um, he, he bought a crypt right next to hers back in 92 for $75,000. Why did he do that? Well, gee, I don't know. No, I do. Uh, she ended up being in the first edition of the Playboy magazine from some photos of hers that, you know, was taken of her back in the 40s. <clears throat> so, in 53, December of 53 is when Playboy magazine came out. And it had Marilyn Monroe in it. And it sold over 50,000 copies. So that is why Hugh Hefner decided, I want to spend my <laughs> eternity by Marilyn Monroe, even though he had never met her. Um, so, voila. <laughs> um, Marilyn Monroe, what else can I say about that lady? Uh... <sighs> Let's see, she was filming a movie, I think, let's see, the, well, you know, a famous image of hers is, you know, is when the, uh, air is blowing up, and her skirt goes, woo, dress, woo, air vent, <clears throat> sewer vent, whatever, one of the most famous images of her was that, I don't have an Easter egg for tomorrow's, I don't think, nothing really connects, uh, Marilyn Monroe to, the guys. I want to talk about like seven guys, I think, tomorrow. So, no one, they don't really connect because most of them are like 
still around. Some of them aren't. So, whatever. But, uh, uh, you know, there's, I just, uh, <sighs> just her death is just unexplainable and probable suicide is is kind of unsure even the coroner didn't couldn't really classify for sure it was suicide so what are your thoughts how did she die was she murdered did she take her own life I know she was depressed towards the end of her life, but I think she did kind of she actually may have had an attempt at suicide once. I don't know. Don't quote me on that one. I'm not I'm unsure on that one. But hey my kid. She said hi. So some of you guys are still fans of Marilyn, some of you aren't, some of you don't like her, some of you love her. She lives on. Like the king. Elvis lives. I'm not doing a thing on Elvis, sorry. But, um, if you want to find out more about Marilyn, just get online, look her up, read a book, go to the library. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.